I would not be jerry-rig everything if I did not show off the brand new Steam Deck Transparent Edition. It also comes in red, green, brown, blue, and of course our very nostalgic purple, just like the original Game Boy Colors. This only takes a few minutes to accomplish and it is incredibly cool. I've been working with JSOX on this one and we have 10 very special Jerry Rig Everything editions to give away at the end of the video. So if you have a Steam Deck, stick around. Valve is one of the cool companies that isn't wholly opposed to people taking apart their hardware. However, they have explicitly said that if you damage something while internally adventuring, it's on you and you're very much on your own. So attempt this project at your own risk. And now that we have all the warnings out of the way, let's get started. Swapping the boring back panel for a transparent back panel is super easy, barely an inconvenience. Two things that could really mess you up though is one, not turning the Steam Deck off, and two, not removing your SD card. Your SD card will snap in half if you don't remove it beforehand. Trust me on this one. The JSOX Steam Deck Transparent Edition comes with everything needed to accomplish the mission. We have the crystal case itself with its rather exquisitely mounted threaded inserts. There's still the metal grill mesh and a significant upgrade from the original back panel, a metal heat sink, first superior aftermarket heat dissipation. If you find your Steam Deck is throttling, a new back panel might just help out. You'll see what I mean in a second. Inside the second box, we get a new screwdriver, a complete screw replacement set, finger gloves, and new customizable rear buttons. With everything this kit comes with, I'm surprised it's only $29. Personally, I'm a fan of the original button thickness, but there are also extendo buttons that you can plop on if you're into that kind of thing. If you plan on using a case for your Steam Deck though, like Dbrand's Project Kill Switch, then you might not be able to use the higher profile buttons anyway. With the button screwed into place, we can now move on to the back panel. If you remember the box from earlier, it's said to wear finger gloves while removing the back housing, which I assume are these guys. I'll slide them on with no additional comments. I assume they're here to help keep fingerprints off the clear panel and keep oils from your fingers off the sensitive circuits inside of the Steam Deck. So it probably is a good idea to wear these, since, you know, protection is a good thing. I just can't do it though. The Steam Deck has eight black Phillips head screws holding down the back panel. Not too big of a deal if you lose these, since replacements are provided with the kit. You would, however, be screwed if you lost a screw inside of the deck though. Not as screwed as the guys running SVB, or anyone who bought NFTs, or balloon operators in the CCP, but still pretty screwed. If you notice, on the original boring Steam Deck panel, the only heat dissipation is the fan vent. However, on the new transparent edition, a metal pad with thermal foam has been added to help heat escape more efficiently. I'm pretty impressed. And I'm even more impressed though with how it looks. Valve should have released this version from the get-go. It's a perfect fit, it would be cool if we could swap the front half, but zero complaints from me. I'll run through the colors one more time just for kicks and giggles. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. There's quite the selection to choose from. However, the more I see this smoky brown color, the more I like it. And of course, I can take my new screws and get the back panel secured into place. Four screws in the center and the four longer screws around the edges. Nice work, JSOX. This new metal heatsink is gonna be a game changer. See what I did there? Let me know what you think. Do you prefer this new transparent edition that shows the actual hardware? Or do you like the more aesthetic representation of the hardware that we see in our dbrand teardown skins? It's hard to decide. They both look pretty phenomenal. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, JSOX sent over 10 of these very special Jerry Rig Everything editions. And since I don't have that many Steam Decks, I'm giving them away to you guys. All you have to do to enter is comment down below and somewhere in your comment, insert the phrase, I have a Steam Deck so I can find it. Obviously, if you don't have a Steam Deck, you can still enter the giveaway. I'm just not sure what you would do with it, but to each their own. There are a lot of these, so I'll be picking winners throughout the year. So feel free to comment whenever. As always, links for everything I talked about today will be down in the video description. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.